everyone! So today's video is going to be a Valentine's Day makeup look, and I know I just uploaded like a Valentine's Day get ready with me, but that was more of like a daytime makeup look, so this video here is going to be more of a nighttime makeup look. I did use a little bit darker colors, and I also applied falsies, so that's kind of what makes it more of like a nighttime look. But of course, you can wear this look whenever or wherever you want, because you do you, am I right? I am. I really am. So this video is actually a collab with my friend Shelby. I met her last Friday night when we were in line for the Ipsy cocktail party and we got to talking and we realized that we lived 30 minutes from each other. How crazy is that? She is seriously the nicest girl you'll ever meet and she is super beautiful so definitely go check her video out and check her channel out. Give her a little subscribe and tell her I sent you. Okay I think that's all I wanted to say so without further ado let's get into the video. So as always we are going to start off with foundation and I am using the Revlon Colorstay with my Jaclyn Caleb foundation brush. This was the first time that I used this brush since I just got it and obsessed is all I can say. I am absolutely in love with it. Then I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me concealer and cover up any dark spots. This concealer is one of the best drugstore concealers I have ever used. I am obsessed with it. Then I'm going to set that foundation and concealer with the e.l.f. Kabuki brush and the e.l.f. face powder. Moving on to the eyes, I am priming my eyes with the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. Then just to set that primer, I'm just going in with that face powder again just to give it just a blank canvas. Then with my L'Oreal palette number two, I am taking that mauve purpley color and running that through the crease. This palette, I've talked about it before. Um, the number one and the number two, they are just so amazing and half the time I reach for these over my higher end palettes. Then taking that darker purple from the palette, I am starting at my lash line and kind of working it upward. I'm kind of like slowly feathering it up and I'm concentrating that only on the lid space and I'm kind of keeping the inner corner clear because we're going to put a lighter color there after this. Then taking the lightest color from the palette, I'm popping that in my inner corner and kind of on the inner like third of my lid. Then taking my Avon Black pencil liner, I'm just lining my tight line. And for this look, I'm not using any liquid liner. I'm just going straight into eyelashes. And these eyelashes are from Shop Miss A. They were only $1 and they are Demi Wispies. I love these lashes. Once my eyelashes are all dry, then I'm going in with that mauve color from the L'Oreal palette and I'm running that along the lower lash line and I'm running that all the way up until it meets that white color. Then I am bronzing up the skin with my NYC Sunny Bronzer and I like to place the color first with a more precise brush and then go back with a fluffy brush and blend it all out. So that's why it looks kind of crazy here, but I fix it later, don't worry. Then I'm going in with this NYX blush and this NYX blush is a matte shade and it kind of reminds me of Max Gingerly so I absolutely love it, but obviously it is way more affordable. Then to combine my natural lashes with the falsies, I am putting on some mascara, and this is the Maybelline Falsies Mascara. Then moving on to eyebrows, I am using the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in the shade Light, and I highly recommend this stuff. It's like $3 and it works really, really well. Then last but not least, we're moving on to lips. I am using this natural colored lip liner from Milani and for some reason it looks kind of like orangey in this video but I swear to you it's not. It's like a really pretty natural color. And then over top of that I am putting a nude lipstick from City Color. And of course since this is a nighttime look you could pair this eye with a dark lip but I opted for a nude lip since I've done a lot of dark lip looks lately. 
So I thought I would add a little hairdo in here and it's really nothing much. It's literally just me straightening my hair. But I wanted to show you guys how I've been straightening my hair lately. Um, I kind of came to a realization the other day that I have not straightened my hair in a good year. So I thought, why not? So to straighten my hair, I'm using this straightener here. This is from TI and it is a professional styling iron and it goes up to 450 degrees. It literally gets hot in five seconds. Like I tested it. I put my finger on the plate and turned it on. And in a matter of five seconds, I had to take my finger off because it was burning. So it's super amazing and I've been loving it lately. All right, so it looks like that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely don't forget to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up. Go check out Shelby's video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.